Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com and I have been fussing with my camera and this technology for the last, oh, I don't know, it feels like an hour. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is, but I have been very excited to get live with you all and say hello. If you're catching the replay, make sure you comment hashtag replay so I can catch up with you after the fact. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell and uh, hopefully you'll get notified when we go live and we do some fun things. I have a really awesome unboxing to do with you today and I am like ridiculously pumped about it. So as you're jumping on, please say hello. Let me know that you're here. If you could comment, like, or share. As always, that um, helps Facebook know, get the word out that we are live. And yeah, it's just a really nice way to be able to help us out here at by Megan Elizabeth and Bubber Bee Studio. So I wanted to come live today because I wanted to, I'm giving this a little share over to the group, but I wanted to be able to give you guys an inside look at something that I just ordered and I'm really, really excited about. Um, as many of you know, I've talked about this a few times. I've been using my eBosser for quite a long time and the eBosser is an electronic, like um, automatic, die cutting feeder for metal dies. And I really like it, but I haven't been able to find it. Hey, Marilyn. Thanks for joining today. Hey, Jessica. I'm glad you guys are uh, jumping on. So just say hello so I can uh, chat with you all today. So anyway, I um, got rid of, I shouldn't say I got rid of, I gave away my Cricut Cuddle Bug, which that's actually no longer in manufacturing manufacturing anymore. Uh, they discontinued making that. And I have a, I'll show you real quick. Hold on. It's a Sizzix. It's called a Texture Boutique. And I have used this for die cutting, but it's not really what it's made for. It's actually a lot of stress on it. Hi, Debbie. It's a lot of stress on this. This is really made only for embossing folders. It's a very, very light kind of machine, a light, light pressure. Hey, Julie. Hi, Greta. Um, so anyway, I have really loved this for a long time. It's great for the embossing folders. Not so great when it comes to actually using metal dies through it. It You can, but it, again, a lot of stress on it and it's like a lot of work. So let's check this out. I'm so excited. I'm like, literally, I, I got it last week and I haven't had a chance to open it. And if it's any, I don't know what the weather's like where you are. But let me just tell you right now, it's snowing and ridiculous here. You can't even see my face because my cameras are set up so bad right now because I cannot get my Canon R6 to work. And I've literally, I kid you not, it's been like, I plan to go live at like four o'clock. It's 20 of five and I can't get the darn camera to work. I'm so frustrated. And I, I shouldn't say I can't get the camera to work. I can't get the camera to work with switcher and I've used it with switcher a thousand times. So anyway enough of that drama. We're going to open this because I just want to craft and create. Nate is going to come in. We have plans to do some videos together today, some recorded tutorials for She Makes Club. Um, pretty excited about it that I've been in here as much as I have today because it's a snow day and it's awesome. We did school this morning. I have a lot to catch up on, but unboxings are always the best. So here we go. You ready? Bum, ba, da, da. I have no idea how this is going to come or what this is going to look like. Okay, so, so far, plain white box, plastic handle, great for, you know, traveling, doing what we need to do with. Let's get rid of the shipping box. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this from the side because I just feel like I can do a better, like, presentation. And you know what? I am doing really well. Thank you for asking. And I am hoping you hold on to that snow coming in Maine. It's going to be crazy. Hey, J.A. from Arizona. All right, giving it a little, oh my goodness, I'm already so like, okay, so first of all, we have our die cutting platforms, and they are nice and long, I'm assuming they're 12 inches, I haven't measured, I didn't check, uh, oh no, look, hey, it says it right there, they're 16, they're 6 by 13, so a 6 by 13 platform, so that means it will cut your 12 inch border dies, okay, exciting, so here's the platforms, I, should, I feel like I should already know this, but I don't. So we're unboxing and learning together, guys. So it's as close to my heart platform. This is not the cutting surface. This is like the spacer, six by 13. 
This one is the cutting mat, again, 6x13. And this one is the adapter, uh, 6x13. Okay, okay, yay! So excited. All right, so here we go. This is what it looks like. Styrofoam going everywhere. Yay! This is the close to my heart. Handheld, hand crank, die cutting machine for your metal dies. Okay, does not replace the Cricut. No, no, no. But I will tell you what it does do. It gives me a great option for when I'm crafting over at my mom's or I'm doing some other situations and I want to just use the metal dies and keep it really simple on my desk. And now I have an option to do that. Okay, so here is how it comes unboxed. All right, the handle's not on there yet. But I want to show you, this is cool. This is a pressure dial and settings dial. Okay, so there is a setting for letterpress, 2D embossing, 3D emboss, and then die cut right here at the top. And then you can customize it by turning to a higher or lower pressure. How cool is that, right? I mean, have you seen that before? I think it's pretty amazing. Okay, so then you open it up. And I think we have a problem here. Oh, when you open it up, it does lock onto your table surface. And they have little compartments. Oh, here's the handle. Okay, hold on. Let's switch camera views. Uh, how do I switch camera views? Here we go. Oh, boy. Don't fall over. Do not fall over. So there are little... Let me hold this back up so we can kind of get a better look here. All right. So... Here's the machine. Here's the little logo. When I set it down and I open up the platforms, okay, there's storage compartments. Inside the storage compartment is the handle, which is where it was supposed to be, but I got nervous when I opened the one storage compartment and it wasn't there. This also adjusts and expands, okay? Cool, woo, there goes the, there goes the camera. Oh boy. See, I told you we're having issues here today. All right, so then there is an, a lock and an unlock for the handle. So when you put it on, I'm gonna slide it up, click it into place, and we just lost the light. Still, just, we're rolling. We're rolling. I'm gonna call this Mer Mercury Retrograde. I'm gonna call this Nor'easter 2021. I'm gonna call this crazy. <laughs> I am back. Um, okay, so first of all, I just want to give a little hi. It is Megan Elizabeth from MyMeganElizabeth.com. This is part two. We got cut off during our live. So we're back. Say hello. Let me know you're here again because um, I missed a whole bunch of comments because it just decided to disconnect for me. So I'm going to give everybody a second to jump back on and we're going to continue talking about my new close to my heart metal die cutting machine. Uh, I already kind of mentioned it in the first video. I'm just going to touch on it really quick here. This one has really cool adjustable dial set settings for doing your die cutting, your embossing, and your letter pressing. So it's really cool and then you can customize the dial further for variable um, pressure in this machine. Okay. It comes with very large platforms. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Denise. Guys, thanks for jumping back on. Um, super, super sorry. It's okay. Welcome to this one. See, everything happens for a reason. Hey, Sabrina. All right. So I saw everybody commenting from where they were. Hopefully you all find your way back. I really want this to like set up differently, but I feel like it's just not happening very well. Yeah, that's just not... I need a new, this is the problem. Okay, you're like, oh gosh, Megan. This is the problem here. We, um, I built a, I didn't build it. My family built a studio office over at my parents' house that I do QVC from, I do other videos from, and then I have my studio here at home, my craft room studio here at home. And the situation is that, um, we're gonna, we're gonna remove that. I know it. I'm sorry. Um, so the situation is that some of my equipment is over there and it's snowing and I'm not going to get it and my R6 isn't working. So go ahead and figure out that situation. I don't know why, but here we are. We're, we're live again. Hey, Linda. 
So the situation is I just got a brand new die cutting machine. This is from Close to My Heart. It's an exclusive that you can't just go to my site and purchase. You either host a party or become a Close to My Heart maker or there's some different ways to get it. So you can message me to figure out exactly how to get it, um, how you can get your hands on it. I'm pretty excited about it because I have been using, and I just talked about it, my um, Sizzix Texture Boutique, which I can use metal dies in, but it's not good for it. That machine is technically made only for doing um, embossing folders because it's a very light pressure. It doesn't really have the strength to cut all the way through. And I had to like jam a lot in and really work it like way harder than you're supposed to. <laughs> and I was afraid I was going to actually end up, end up breaking it eventually. So what I have done is Close to My Heart came out with this new machine. I gave away my Cricut Cuddle Bug. I sold my Tim Holtz Vagabond. And I still have my eBosser, which is electronic. You still have to plug it into an electric source. And then it feeds it through, which is great. I still love that so much and I use it often. But it's actually not always practical for me. So I'm back to like having all the machines. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> And so when I saw that Close to My Heart had this available, I was like, it needs to come home with me. I want to share it. Um, it's not something that anybody can just jump on and buy, but I can help hook you up and get it if you're interested. And I'm just super stoked. So I don't know all that much about this machine other than it is, it works just like your cuddle bug. It's a turn crank handle, but the handle actually comes on and off. There's a little, uh, I don't know if you can quite see it here, but there's actually a little like lock slide. So when you slide that up, it removes the handle and then it actually stores on board in these little compartments. There's flaps on the front and back. And actually I'm going to switch our camera view and hopefully that'll help you. So there's little compartments so you can put in your in dies or, you know, accessories and tools or whatever it would be. The other thing that's really cool is that when you have these uh, platform flaps open, it locks onto your studio, it like onto your surface. So it like suctions on there so it's not moving around. So it's really cool. And then this just slides in. You just have to un um, unlock it by sliding up that little tab and it pushes it right into place. And then you're ready to turn crank it. So if you want to move it or adjust it, you just close it and then move it around how you want it, whatever it would be. So here again, I just want to show you, you just turn the dial to switch up how much pressure is on that roller system that is doing the die cutting and doing the work for you. So I don't know if you ever remember with using a cuddle bug machine, I had this happen quite a bit in my past where I would use a cuddle bug folder, an embossing folder and run it through. And depending on the paper, the embossing folder would actually cut the paper. So this allows you to have less pressure so that your embossing is actually doing what it's supposed to do and emboss and not cut through. But then there's times where you're trying to cut something with a metal die and you're running it through and you're running it through again and you're running it through and it still just seems like it's not going through. It's not cutting all the way through and you're like driving yourself crazy and then you end up fussy cutting. Now you don't have that problem either. So it's a very adjustable die cutting machine from close to my heart. I think it's pretty darn sweet and amazing and um, turn crank. It's just awesome. So I thought we'd give it a try. Um, I have, it comes with a little, you know, how to use it, little quick start guide, steel ruled dies, um, cutting and embossing, just cutting 2D embossing folders, 3D embossing folders, texture plates, and then letter press. So it gives you instructions for all of them. And then just the simple open close and instructions of in assembling the crank handle. But it's really great, right? Okay, so the price point on this, you cannot just go to my shop, which I'll give you the link. Oh my goodness, I am telling you what. I hope this doesn't shut it off again because that's what happened. So Amanda just asked the price point. You cannot just go buy it. It is a kit that's available through Close to My Heart if you become a maker um, or if you host a online workshop event 
through me. Um, so you can visit meganelizabeth.closetomyheart.com to contact me on exactly how to get your hands on it. And it's $99.99. And it comes with the 6x13 platform. So there's the 6x13 adapter, which you would use for uh, certain dies and things. And then you have the 6x13 cut plate. This is the mat. Okay. And then you also have the like hard surface platform. This is just the platform. This is not the cutting surface. Okay. So you always kind of uh, layer things when you do uh, manual die cutting like this. So it's $99.99. It comes with the larger platforms, the adjustable die, the handle that stores on board, and the storage compartments on both sides of the flat. Okay. It's not my day with technology, no, which is why I'm happy to have this because we've actually, with this storm coming through, there's been some, oh, are we losing electric again moments because uh, the ice and everything is so heavy and back here we lose le electric and internet all the time. So we could blame it on mer Mercury retrograde or we could blame it on, you know, the fairies or we could just say, here it is. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Anyway. Um, all right. So I'm going to try to set this back up. I just don't understand why everything wants to fall over on me today. I need to get my tripod back for my mom and dad's house. But of course, if my R6 was working, we wouldn't be having this problem at all. So you tell me. I don't know. You know what we're going to have an issue with now too is that I'm moving all this stuff around and I have this like awful fear that... Um, we're gonna we're gonna knock something over and it's gonna it's gonna shut it down. Thank you. We got hit by the snow here in central Ohio as well. Yeah, it's like crazy up the east coast, right? I know. I think Maryland said it came in in is coming to Maine or it's in Maine and people are calling me because I didn't put it on do not disturb and we're gonna we're having a day. It's okay. So I want to play with these thin dies. Um, this is a stamp set and die set from Close to My Heart. It's called Timber. It's a card making workshop stamp set. And it comes with the dies and the stamp. And so I love this Hooked on You, Forever Hooked on You stamp. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to die cut it out with the um, die that fits it. So we're just going to layer everything up. So we have our cutting mat. Just see if I can get it in here right. Here's the paper. I'm gonna put the die down. I'm gonna put the adapter down. It's not a cutting surface, it's just you know, it's an adapter, whatever. Okay, we're going to switch this to die cutting. Oh wait, not for it's for steel ruled dies. Ooh, I just realized what it said. Front and back can be used interchangeably. Change die placement when cutting shape multiple times. Incorrect. Huh. Interesting. All right, we're just going to put it in here. Does it go between these two? I've always, I've always like layered one, two, three. Okay. So this is not the die cutting surface. This is the die cutting surface. So here we go. We're just putting it in here. Doesn't matter. And we have it set to die cutting on here and we're just going to crank it through. Now I'm not going to crank it all the way through because I'm not doing a full 12 inch. I'm just doing this little thing, but you hear it kind of like click and cut. So I'm just going backwards with it to get it back out instead of pushing it all the way through, but I guess it's the same amount either way. So we should have a brilliantly perfectly cut out shape. Okay. With a little embossed edge on it. And I love it. Perfect. Okay, wasn't sure. Didn't haven't used this before. Haven't really looked into it, but was excited to grab it. It's not too hard to figure out pretty quickly though. Okay, we're done. We have our shape. Now we can stamp. I'm gonna use the color. Uh, could use that, or we could use this. We'll use pewter. I'm gonna use the color pewter. I'm gonna grab. Stamp, ink block, hooked on you forever, forever hooked on you, and I'm just going to go around the edge and stamp right on there. So cute. Oh my word, that is so cute. I love it. All right, 
So, there's other dies as well, but I'm actually doing a, I'm doing a video for She Makes Club, and I'm using the new Letter Tiles stamp set. This actually comes with uh, little square dies. I don't have the dies because when I first ordered it, they weren't available yet, so I ordered it without the dies, but um, you can get dies with it. And then it has the wood grain background and then you can make little like Scrabble tile pieces. And I have a really cute six by eight layout that I'm going to be doing inside She Makes Club um, with this stamp set and this picture. I cannot wait. So it's going to be really cute. You can come over and check that out. All right. So let's make this card really quick. I'm just doing a little, um, a simple like four by four card. So I need this to be eight inches on craft paper, eight inches by four inches. Just a little square card. I'm gonna fold it in half. Just something quick to like leave a little note. I actually thought it would be cute to give this to Nate. And we have quite a bit of fun planned today. So I was going to do the Forever Hooked on You, and then I was thinking about using the little, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use this in the background. And I'm going to take the color Desert Rose. I love these little magnetic stamp pads too. Alright, so we're just going to stamp off. So one full speed full strength, one half strength. And I'm just kind of layering, I guess, these across, making a little pattern. Full half. Full and half. Um, I know there's a lot of places not getting snow, but we got crazy, crazy, crazy ice, like crazy ice. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Cause I kind of did that wrong, but that's okay. All right. So filled up all the little hooks as the background. I was going to cut some of this paper, but just decided let's just make our own little background really quick. This isn't like a fancy, fancy card for the day. It's just more, I wanted to see how this actually worked out. Let me put this down here. That looks perfect. And then let me grab Boop. quarter rounder, all four corners. And we have a cute little note card just to say, how adorable is that? Anyway, I am so excited to play with this more. What did Carrie say? Even in Alabama, it's spitting a little bit of the white stuff. Really? That's awesome. It's crazy. I mean, the nor'easters are no joke. I feel like if you looked out my... I don't want to make anybody sick because my, my technical issues already, we're going to lift you up. I'll show you a little bit. So if you look out my... It's just all white. Everything's just white out there, but the snow's really coming down. So it's kind of nice. It is kind of nice. I do like the white stuff. Um, yeah. But it's been a lot of ice. Like it was just sleeting and sleeting and sleeting like crazy. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you joining and checking it, checking in today. I feel like there's just been like so many things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm dying to share. Oh my word. I can't wait to whatever. So this was one of those things. So pretty cute, pretty simple little card. But the whole point is brand new die cutting machine, which I have needed so desperately. So I'm excited. We'll be using the letter tiles. There's a whole bunch of other really cute things. I just got the catalog preview uh, for March, April. Oh my goodness. Is there amazing Easter and spring stuff for March and April coming? Oh, it's 
so cute. Right now we are in the middle of, of course we have the annual catalog as always, but we're right in the middle of the uh, January, February. We just started. And this is where you can get the brand new um, Happiness Lives Here collection, which is what I used inside She Makes Club for our January hangout. February hangout is this coming sun, not yeah, this coming Sunday, Sunday the 7th, um, for our live creative workshop, and we're going to have a great time with that. Um, these are just beautiful. The Happiness Lives Here collection, the, the wooden um, little elements are just to die for. They're very beautiful. I love the Sweet Safari. It's very just playful and fun and, and great for kids and grandkids. It's just awesome. Um, so lots of cute little safari and then mix-ins are always available. Fun little mix and match little miss message uh, to create your own little caricature kind of situation. Uh, the home sweet home. Get well soon. I'm just kind of flipping through. Oh my word, this call here. Holy moly. Got to get this together. Just having a day. Call dad. Super cute. Great for Father's Day or just saying hello to dad. But I'm in love with the whole latte love stamp set. You know I can't go like a day without having latte or coffee. Uh, this is coffee is my craft fuel. All I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of glitter. I just love coffee stamp sets. Like I buy them from anywhere all the time because I love them. And they're just adorable. So definitely you can check those out. Here's that letter tile set that I was telling you about. Adorable penguins. Um, I love this. I actually didn't order it yet, but I really want to. And it's called My Life and What I Love and Build a Pie uh, with Thin Cuts. So it's all like pie chart stuff. So you build the pie like it shows here. But then you have like all these different things that are like your life. So you can make little spinners. Like there's just so many different things that you can do with it. And I'm dying to order it. Like you can see it in the scrapbook page here. I think it's phenomenal. Um, here's a really cool uh, thin cut die for a longer, it's a eight and a half by three and a half. So for those longer, um, why can't I think of the card size? Like the A7, is it A7? Yeah, A7 size cards. Don't quote me, I could be wrong. Um, hey, hello, hi. Super, super cute stamp set. I mean, there really always is. And then this was always so popular when I shared close to my heart before people went nuts. These are brand new and you get them through the catalog as they come available. So this is January, February. So right now in February, you can still order January, but then, you know, when they run out, you're going to go to March, April, and then you can build your collection of month stamps, which just like the coffee stamps, I'm obsessed with month of the year stamp sets. So super love it. Baby, it's cold outside. Happy New Year. There's the coffee mug. Chilling New Year's Day. Snow day. So going to February, we have Be My Valentine. Hey, sugar. I love you. Will you be mine? The heart messages. So you can pick them up and build them throughout the year, which is just awesome. And they've always been super, super popular because I think you guys are so much like me. And when I talk about these and use these so much, I feel like you guys do too. So I love sharing them. So definitely check them out while they're still available. Um, yeah. And there's just really cute stuff. Oh, stamp of the month too. We just started. It's February 1st. So if you are a VIP, if you are a VIP with me, you can get the stamp of the month set for free every month with a qualifying order. If you are not a VIP, you can get the stamp of the month for $5 with a $50 order. So very, very cool. They've done this forever. I collect these. I love them. This one's really cute. Um, love, joy, happiness. This is all kinds of doodles and borders, and they're just great for doing little backgrounds and fun elements on your cards, your scrapbook pages, your DIY projects, and so much more. So there's a little shout out to that as well. I hope you guys have an amazing, 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 incredible day. I hope you are filled with so much love, joy, peace, warmth, and comfort right now. And if you need anything, as always, let me know. If you want to know more about getting that die cutting machine, send me a message or go ahead and visit over at meganelizabeth.closetomyheart.com and you can send me a message through there and we can set you up to get your own close to my heart die cutter. Okay. Have an awesome day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.